Sputnik V, the Russian COVID-19 vaccine, which is the first registered COVID-19 vaccine of the world. If you want to know how does Sputnik V work and if you want to know the efficacy rate of this Sputnik V and what are the side effects of this Sputnik V vaccine then watch the video till the end without wasting any time. So hello, welcome to another video of OBG's biology. In this video I am going to discuss about another COVID-19 vaccine which is a Russian Sputnik V or the Sputnik V vaccine. So this Sputnik V or Sputnik V vaccine is an adenovirus viral vector vaccine which is developed by the Gamelia Research Institute of Epidemiology and Microbiology of Russia. Now it is approved by Indian DCGI to use it in a restricted emergency situation. Now let's discuss about the mode of action of this Sputnik V vaccine. Like COVID shield, this Sputnik V vaccine is an adenovirus viral vector vaccine. Means here the scientists have used adenovirus to make this vaccine. They modified this adenovirus with the spike proteins of, of the SARS-CoV-2 virus which is causing the COVID-19 disease. In the COVID shield vaccine, the scientists have used only one vector or only one type of adenovirus to modify the vaccine. But in case of Sputnik V, the most interesting thing is that here the scientists have used two adenovirus or two types of adenovirus to produce this vaccine. Here the first adenovirus vector is AD26 and the second adenovirus vector is the AD5 means here we are using AD26 adenovirus in the first dose of this vaccine and AD5 adenovirus in the second dose of this vaccine. Now let's see the main motto of this Sputnik V vaccine. Here the scientists took human adenovirus which causes common flu-like symptoms. Here two types of adenoviruses are taken which are the AD26 and AD5. Now what the, our scientists did is that a gene coding S protein of SARS-CoV-2 spikes is inserted into each vector so that now uh, the adenoviruses have the protein or the spike protein of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Now when the first dose of the vaccine is given means when the AD26 adenovirus vector is introducing into our body our immune system will detect the protein of SARS-CoV-2 virus and they will assume that yes it is the real SARS-CoV-2 virus and they will generate antibodies against it. Now after 8 or 12 weeks when the second dose of this vaccine will be given then already some of antibodies are produced in our body due to the first vector or the first dose of this vaccine and now when the second dose of the vaccine is given or here we are using the AD5 type of adenovirus as the second dose then the vaccine based on another adenovirus vector is unknown to the body and then it boosts the immune response and generate more antibodies which is giving the long lasting immunity against the SARS-CoV-2 virus. After taking the second dose of this vaccine more and more antibodies are generated in our body which helps to fight against the real SARS-CoV-2 virus. So when after half or one month of taking the vaccine if 
anyone is affected by the real SARS-CoV-2 virus, then the already generated antibodies will kill the SARS-CoV-2 virus. As the antibodies which were generated due to the vaccine earlier, they are specific antibodies against the SARS-CoV-2 virus. So, when we will be affected by the real SARS-CoV-2 virus, the vaccine will help us to fight against the virus and they will kill or the antibodies will kill the virus. This is how the Sputnik 5 vaccine works. Now let's come to the efficacy rate of Sputnik 5 vaccine. Sputnik 5 is one of the three vaccines in the world with efficacy of over 90% and the vaccine's efficacy is confirmed at 91.6% based on the analysis of data on 19,866 volunteers who received both the first and second doses of the Sputnik 5 vaccine in Russia. So, the efficacy rate of this Sputnik 5 vaccine is pretty good. The use of two type of adenovirus or two type of vectors make this vaccine more and more efficient against the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Now, let's come to the price of this vaccine. The price of this vaccine is $10, which means it is 700 to 750 rupees in Indian currency for single dose of this Sputnik 5 vaccine. Now let's come to the side effects. The use of human adenovirus as vectors is safe because these viruses which cause the common cold are not novel and have been around for thousands of years. So after taking the vaccine, some flu-like symptoms can be generated like some sort of fever, headache, fatigue and you can have pain at the site of the injection. But according to the clinical trial reports of Russia, the side effects of Sputnik V is very very lower than any other vaccines of the world. Now let's come to the manufacturer of Sputnik V in India. In India, this Sputnik 5 vaccine is marketed by Dr. Reddy's lab and Serum Institute of India has given a proposal to WHO for producing this vaccine in India. As the use of this Sputnik 5 vaccine is going to start in this month in India, you can take this vaccine as its efficacy rate is very high than any other vaccine but there is one thing to be remembered that as Covishield and Sputnik 5 is similar type of vaccine or adenoviral vaccine one can think that after taking the first dose of Sputnik 5 he or she can take the second dose as Covishield the answer is no if you take the first dose of Sputnik 5, then you should take the second dose of Sputnik 5 itself. Now let's come to the doses. The doses of this vaccine is 2. Means this it is a 2 doses vaccine which is given in the duration of 8 to 12 weeks. So this is all about the Sputnik 5 vaccine. So, let's get vaccinated and let's fight against the COVID-19 disease. So, thank you for watching the video. Please like the video and share the video. And please subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed yet. And hit the bell icon. We'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.